Hello and welcome to the section 2 of the course Getting Started. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about traffic capturing process, then how to save and export packets from Wireshark, then what is the process of annotation and printing packets, and finally remote capturing setup. So let's start with traffic capturing in Wireshark. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about traffic capturing and I'm going to explain you the process. So what you can do here, you can start your Wireshark inside your Windows machine and I'm going to show you that how you can capture packets inside it. So guys, I'm here at Windows 10 machine. So first of all, you can start your Wireshark. So let me start the Wireshark here. Click here and open it inside your Windows machine. Meanwhile, what you can do here, you can start your browser inside your Windows 10 and you can open a few websites inside it so that it can generate some packets and then we can simply grab those packets inside Wireshark. So this is Wireshark and let me open my browser. So here it is. So let me open a few websites. For example, a sample website, walnerweb.com. Let's open this one. On this website, right? Similarly, you can open any other websites. Now, you can check the Wireshark. So Wireshark is open here. So you can see here that these are the interfaces available inside Wireshark. So you need to check your interface. So for, let me open my command prompt inside Windows. So let me type command prompt CMD and you can type IP config here to check your IP address and your up and running interface. So you can see here that I'm using my Wi Fi, right? And this is my IP address available here. This is my gateway IP address, means my router IP address. So you can see here that I'm using my Wi-Fi which is up and running, right? So I'm going to choose this interface inside Wireshark so that I can grab packets inside my network. So let me close it. And here you can see that I have Wi-Fi option available here. So you can simply double click here. And then it will start capturing the packets from your network. Now you can go back to the browser. You can refresh it. You can open a few pages inside it and then you will see all the packets available inside so there are various packets available here like if you look at the protocol then tls tcp http dns also available here so that's how you can capture packets inside wireshark now if you want to stop the capturing process you can see the red button here you can simply click here and you can stop the capturing process here so we have captured around 119 packets and that's all about capturing process using Wireshark.